Hello. Depending on your project's implementation, you can end up with many different widgets, each set up to show specific content in a particular way. Let's see how you can work with them in the demo KBank site. As a content editor, you'll use widgets to add content to the pages. You can group one or more widgets into one section. Most widgets reference content from the content hub. For example, for a product page type, you'd just keep the current product page option, and the widget will automatically show the related content items. Other option, which we use in this case for content page type, is to reference content from a different page. It's a good practice to reference a content item, as you can reuse it many times. If the content item changes, the widgets immediately change as well. To move a widget to another position on the page, drag it by the header. You can move it to a different section that supports this widget. Personalization shows visitors specific content based on how they interact with your website. On the KBank site, you can personalize different types of content. Images, products, articles, and more. Your developers implemented the way how widgets display the content. It doesn't have to be set in stone. For example, you can change the text color and image based on the design options, which will still align with your company's guidelines. To reuse a widget on the same or other pages, copy and paste the widget where you want. The only condition is that the section supports the widget. Experience can store up to 10 copies of widgets for 12 hours. To remove a widget, use the delete button. You saw how you can work with a widget. Thanks for watching.